So this might seem like bad news, but it's actually good news. This article was posted by the Christian Post. A Major League Baseball player, Matt Dermody, gets a lot of backlash on a tweet he made about homosexuality and refuses to renounce Christian beliefs. A Major League Baseball pitcher released by the Boston Red Sox after one start in June following backlash to his social media activity, including a 2021 tweet stating that homosexuals will not inherit the kingdom of God. And Matt has vowed not to apologize for his Christian beliefs. Now that's what I call someone really putting their foot down, especially with all the backlash and all the hate he's probably getting for this. He's really just standing on the firm foundation of God's word in the Bible. And that's amazing. It reads here, Matt Dermody, a 33-year-old pitcher who signed with the Boston Red Sox organization this year and made one spot start. In the tweet in question, Dermody wrote, homosexuals will not inherit the kingdom of God and will go to hell, citing 1 Corinthians 6.9. The tweet goes on saying, May we all examine our hearts, ask Jesus to forgive us, and repent for all our sins. I love you all in Christ Jesus, Dermody tweeted. In addition, concerns was raised by progressives about his social media activity supporting former President Donald Trump. And of course, they had to bring Donald Trump into this too. But, I mean, nice guy. You know, back then in 2021, I guess that was a big deal. And wow, what an evil person for supporting a conservative president. Although the tweet was posted two years earlier, it didn't draw media attention and social scrutiny until Dermody was called up to make a spot start in June against the Cleveland Guardians after pitching in nine games for the Red Sox AAA affiliate. Now this is someone that should be really encouraging for us Christians because he is doing exactly what we all should be doing. We should be laying it all on the line for Jesus Christ and the truth. He's standing up for the truth. He's not giving in. And not just that, he's telling everyone in a tweet which I'm sure is hundreds of thousands, maybe millions of people following him about Jesus and the way to heaven. And he's spreading the gospel in that way. And that is amazing. That is something we all should be doing. And he doesn't care about the backlash, what might happen. He's just thinking about people's soul, about people's eternity, because he loves them, not because of hate, but because he loves them as we all should. Now, this is where it gets a little crazy because it says Dermody told Loren that the Red Sox general manager knew of the tweet in spring training before the regular season even started and the two had a conversation about it. He recalled assuring him, I don't want anybody to go to hell. And then he goes on to say, I saw the list of all the things that lead people to hell and I was on that list, as we all are, that instilled the fear of the Lord in me. And so now it's not really about me anymore but it's about helping others in preaching the gospel and the good news of Jesus Christ, that he saves us from the fires of hell. So he read the gospel, he read God's word, and it put the fear of God in him. And remember, fear is the beginning of wisdom. A lot of times fear can be your friend, not your enemy, and it can drive you right to the cross, right to Jesus. And that's where true repentance comes because at that point, you know you're a sinner, you know you've done wrong, and that you need the grace of God. So this is just an amazing an amazing article, really. It's really cool to, to read this from a Major League Baseball player and just to see his testimony up front for everyone to see, you know. And this is just really encouraging for us. And we need to be encouraged by this. And even though it's very sad what they did to him and cut him from the team, this is really his life going forward, you know. His life has really truly began and he's going to live for Christ as we all should as true believers. So this is just, this is amazing. This is really good. Good news. And then Dermody defended the tweet saying it is far from homophobic, stressing, I don't hate anyone in this world, he said. I can relate and agree 100% to that because anytime I talk about homosexuals, transgenders, and all that other stuff, you know, people want to attack me, people want to hate me, they say that I'm hateful, I don't love anyone, I need to be more accepting like Jesus was. Yes, Jesus loved everyone, but he didn't affirm the way they lived or their beliefs. He didn't just say, oh, I love you, be who you are and keep sinning because you know you be you you be your own truth no he didn't say that he says go and sin no more and true believers will turn from their sins and try to be more like jesus and spread the gospel he said the 2021 tweet came not long after he first embraced the christian faith so i don't know about you but a lot of people who are new that 
just come to Christ, they're on fire for the Lord. You know, they want to tell everybody, and that's an amazing thing. And they should continue that until the day they die. That's not, that should never stop. But this is to be expected when someone is truly saved. I mean, they want to tell everyone because they see them as drowning or burning, and they want to save them. They want to throw them that rope or pull them out of the fire. Why? Because they love them, not because they hate them. They want to give them warnings of their sin. Then it gives a little background on how he came to the Lord, which I think this is very cool. It was actually first him just trying to please and impress his girlfriend. It says the baseball player purchased a Bible to please his girlfriend, now his wife. And after reading it during his mini identity crisis, he was super convicted. He knew in that moment, if he died that night, he was not going to be in heaven with God. And then Dermody claims that there's a big identity crisis going on in the United States right now where men think they're women and women trying to be men. It's an identity crisis. It's a, it's something that's reality in our world today, and it's going on everywhere. As Dermody is still pursuing baseball, Loren asked him how he would respond if another team offered him the contract in exchange for apologizing for the tweet. He outlined how he would respond. I'm sorry for hurting people's feelings, but I believe in God. I believe in the word of God, and I want people to go to heaven. I'm not going to affirm any kind of sinful or immoral behavior. That's going to lead people astray, he said. That's an amazing statement, and it's amazing that he's not going to apologize for it. It's it's him being honest. You know, he's not going to apologize for spreading the gospel, talking about Christ, trying to bring people to Christ so they can enter the kingdom of heaven. Then it goes on to say that the general manager of the Red Sox, Brian, cited the fact that we wanted to give the opportunity to other players and acknowledged that we factor in everything. Certainly, we considered everything that became public with regards to his Twitter activity. That was also something that we factored into the decision. Brian also apologized for calling up Dermody, even though the Red Sox knew about the tweet. See, they knew about this, but... It wasn't a big deal then until people started making a big deal about it. And that's what happens. But in this situation, I think it actually helped him, especially for us believers, because now we get to see what he did and that it was good. Not that it was bad, but it was good. He goes on to say that we regret that this caused people to feel hurt. I'm sorry about that. We're sorry about that. We celebrated Pride Day the other day, and it was an incredible day at the ballpark. The atmosphere was so joyous and celebratory on the field and in the stands. We're proud of our history celebrating Pride Night and standing standing next to the LGBTQ community. We're sorry that the roster decision that we made caused harm to that community. We regret that it hurt people in the community. It hurts our fans. It hurts people that work in the organization as well. And that's the end of the post. But you know, it's going to hurt people more when they realize that they were wrong and they should have they should have listened because there's going to be a day, there's going to be a judgment day, and that's when a lot of people will realize and it'll be too late. You know, I just want to thank the Lord so much for Matt Dermody doing what he did, being bold in his faith and not being afraid to speak out from what's right and wrong according to God's word. All right guys, thank you so much for watching and please Please don't forget to like this video, comment down below, and let me know what you think about this. Do you think that this is good news or bad news? So remember guys, stay bold and spread the gospel. I'll see you next time.